Well, I went to Ohio University because Vern Alden had come there from Harvard to be president. And he had this belief and dream that he wanted to make Ohio University the Harvard of the Midwest. And he brought in some of the most interesting people uh, there. And the whole place was on fire. And uh, Les Rollins was one of his uh, mentors and had been with him at Harvard. And Les was a really good friend of Bob Greenleaf's. And, and uh, they used to bring their friends for weekends to meet with student leaders and, and faculty and all. And uh, Bob uh, Greenleaf came for a weekend uh, in uh, the mid-60s when we went there. And my wife Margie and I got to spend a weekend with uh, Bob Greenleaf and Les and a group of student leaders and all, because uh, they had a, what they call a Ohio Fellows program, which was a special student program uh, for leaders. And that's why uh, Bob was, was there. And, and I had been kind of a, an advisor and worked with uh, the folks there. And, uh, it was a wonderful weekend. Uh, the biggest memory that I have of Bob Greenleaf is how humble he was. And uh, he just seemed to be so unimpressed with himself. And yet his experience at AT&T and things that he had done, I thought were just pretty amazing. But he was more really almost interested in what the students had to say than what, what he had to say. But in the process, I really got a good sense of, of servant leadership as much by his behavior as I did by, uh, by his thinking. And because uh, he really wanted to bring the best out of everybody that, uh, that was there. So it was a, it was a great experience.